just the magnitude of, of what you guys know this win means for the rest of your season, your playoff hopes? Man, to be honest, I wasn't even paying attention to exactly what it means, but I just know I like, love, not, not, not like, I love coming to Arrowhead. It's just a great environment. And that's why I was telling the guys all week, man, it's going to be a really fun game. Um, it's going to be a four-quarter game. And we just came out and got the dub, so I'm not exactly sure what this does for our playoff chance or whatever. But <clears throat> we just taking it one game at a time, one game season. That's, what, that's how we're doing right now. What are you feeling on that last series there, that third down where you get the tip pass? I mean, yeah, you guys have been that's in that they spot me for. That's what they paid me for. To, uh, to impact the game like that, late in the game, we need to get out the field and all the guys just rushing together and just getting after my homes. I know he was a little flustered at the end, so that's exactly what we get paid to do. Why was he flustered at the end? We were putting that pressure on him towards the end, yeah. So collapsing the pocket and he was having to make decisions probably a little faster than he wanted to. Had the defenses been in this situation before we had yep. given a lead with you know, a couple minutes left, mm -hmm. a few games you haven't been able to close out, so to right. be able to close this one out, how good is collectively does that feel for the group? You know, it, it's kind of cliche, but we, we literally did this in practice. You know, they say practice how you play. You know, that's kind of cliche. But literally, we had a two-minute drill at the end of practice specifically for this moment to close our game. So I guess it just, hey, when you, when you practice the situation, hey, and we was put in the situation and we won. I think, I think it has a lot to do with practice. What did you notice about Sean this week and today, knowing everything that he's gone through this week? Uh, just being resilient. I think that's a, a bunch of bullshit. They, what they did to me, that was five years ago, my rookie year, uh, whoever, whatever, league or whatever, I think uh, you're a coward, for one, because everything is supposed to stay in the house. So, I, I got his back on everything. I know he's a good guy. I know he's a great guy, actually. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't have much to say besides whoever, you know what I'm saying? That's just, that's just. What goes through your mind on that, on that last play where they score and then the penalty takes it off? What's going through your head on that one? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I still don't know what really happened. I don't know what, what happened. He was called for being offside at the start. Tony? Yeah. Oh, good for him. <laughs> good for him, great for us. So, hey, really, I was walking out the field. I seen a minute 13. I said, they, they left Josh too much time. So I was, if they scored, it was like, damn, still got a minute 13. We got Josh Allen. You know what I'm saying? Anything can happen. But they took it back. I said, well, let's go ahead and close it out. Yep.